Hi, welcome back to our series of lectures on coordinate geometry. My name is Bandi and today we will be continuing our discussion of coordinate geometry. Especially we would be looking at more about conic sections and this time we would be looking at much complex conic sections which are nothing but parabola and a hyperbola. We would see how to recognize them and how to work with them. All right. So, as we discussed last time, a uh, conic section is nothing but a take a cone and if you cut, if you take a hyperplane and cut through it in different angles, orientations, then what you get are conic sections, right? Simplest cases we saw last time, it was about cutting it horizontally with respect to parallelly to the base. The other way was to cut it with a slant. And now if you cut it, if you don't cut the whole thing, if you cut it parallel to a side or something, then what you get is a parabola. So this is how you get a parabola by cutting a cone. And now, get a hyperbola. If you again cut it like this, but uh, tilted towards this edge. Here you, you are parallel to this edge. Here you are kind of closer to this edge. When you are cutting the cone being parallel to this edge, then what you get is a hyperbola. So this is the geometric picture of it geometric picture of a parabola and a hyperbola. Now we proceed towards finding the mathematical, the functional form of parabola and hyperbola. All right. Now, to continue the previous discussion, a graph of any quadratic equation can be seen as some conic section. And which of the, which conic section does it represent depends on the values of A, B, C, D, E, F. All right. So last time we saw that if the condition uh, b square minus 4 times ac was less than 0 then if this was true then we saw that it's an ellipse or a circle right this time if this is not true if b square minus 4 ac is either greater than 0 or equal to 0 then what we get is a parabola or a hyperbola in particular if b square minus 4ac is strictly equal to 0, it's the value is equal to 0, then what we get is a parabola. And if this value was strictly greater than 0, then what you get is a hyperbola. Therefore, you can see that a hyperbola uh, is kind of an ellipse in some sense, right? Because there you had strictly less than 0, here you have strictly greater than 0. So you will see more relations about hyperbola and ellipse. And parabola is a nice little object. Here you just have b square minus 4ac is equal to 0. And this defines many of the properties that you see about parabola. All right, proceeding further, we'll be talking more about parabola and hyperbola and working with them. So parabola. So in particular, in the original expression, ax squared plus, you know, the original expression the this expression if it was a parabola and c was equal to 0 then what you get is a form of the type x minus h whole square equal to 4 times p times y minus k this can be checked by readily plugging in the values so here the two conditions needed are b square minus 4ac is equal to 0 and c equal to 0. What would c equal to 0 mean? c equal to 0 would mean that b is equal to 0, right? This would imply b equal to 0, right? 